Hey, this is John with LearningGuitarNow.com, and in this lesson, I want to show you how to play an Eric Clapton-inspired 3 o'clock uh, style solo, uh, similar to something he played when he did the duet with B.B. King. I always like the sound of that track. Uh, has a really kind of a laid-back, uh, slow blues type of feel. To get the tone for the lesson, I used my Neural DSP plugin, and you can access that uh, preset uh, just by joining the free newsletter, you also get a free mini course with about 45 minutes of video with a tab and backing track. So, so click the link below in the description and you can access that free preset along with uh, the free mini course. If you want to get access to the full lesson, uh, the interactive tab and backing track, check out the all access pass. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start the lesson. All right, now I'm going to break this uh, solo down for you into uh, 10 separate licks. We're in the key of B. It's a Clapton 3 o'clock style solo using the neck pickup. And I'm using a Neural DSP plugin to get the uh, tone for the performance and this lesson. Uh, I got the volume of the neck pickup uh, around 9. It's kind of where I had it uh, for this solo. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with lick 1 is this. Okay, so for lick number one, we're coming in on the uh, B chord. Our uh, first chord is 12 bar blues, uh, key of B. And we're gonna rest for the first count. So you hit the hear that first, uh, the band come in, first count. And then right after the first count, we're gonna play this little phrase, starting in our second position, minor pentatonic, right here, key of B. So very simple lick, uh, finding Clapton, We'll wear out that second position minor pentatonic. It's kind of B.B. King sounding, especially when he did that tune with B.B. King. Uh, I think he played a little bit more B.B. King type phrases. I'm using the round side of this pick. Uh, it's a Fender Tortuga Heavy, and it gets a really thick sound when you don't really strike the strings that hard. So I'm not really killing the strings, just kind of uh, hitting him kind of slightly at an angle, and he gets that big, thick, round side to give it a fatter tone. May sound pretty basic, but that's what I'm doing to get this sound, and you can get a lot of different tones just by changing how you pick. And so I'm doing a little bit of an angle so that meat hits it right around below uh, that neck pickup here. Fatter here than here. You can hear how the tone changes. Even if I change the pick, you got this. I'm just changing uh, how I'm picking instead of straight down like this. Angle it. Less sound. I'm not changing how hard I'm striking, just changing the angle of the pick. Angle of the pick will change your tone as well. It's a rounder sound. Anyway, I really like that sound. Get back on that bridge. So just by doing that simple thing, completely will change your tone. So anyway, we got that little Lick here, 12, 10, 12, pretty basic. Release to 10, add some vibrato. And then on the next step, uh, it's moving to the quick change of the E chord. And then I'm gonna rest uh, for two counts. And basically on the third beat, one, two, three. We're counting this in 12, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You're gonna rest for the first three counts. And then we'll play this phrase. So pretty cool little phrase right there, uh, all right in the first position minor pentatonic scale, and then we're dropping back uh, a few notes in the fifth position minor pentatonic scale. So I'm sliding, you know, from anywhere around here you feel like. You just have to be really precise into stopping the slide and then gradually bending that thing, ninth fret of the G string, bend it up. Pull down, release. Then you're just gonna do this pattern. Now 
now we're gonna take our first finger, jump back to the A string seventh fret like this and do this phrase. So you kind of have like two pieces, this. Now you have to take your third finger, jump back and do this blue scale and fifth position minor pentatonic. That's a slide to seven, eight, that's blue scale. Seven, release to fifth fret. So you have to be able to do that lick. Uh, if you're not really good at doing that, make an exercise out of it. This is a super cool move to do. Then just this. Hammer on five to seven and cut off the ninth fret up here. So pretty sweet move there, uh, lick number one. Okay, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so the first little section of uh, lick two, uh, we're starting in the first position minor pentatonic scale and then raking, bending slightly that 10th fret of the B string. I'm doing this classic blues phrase here, seven, eight, and then rolling your third finger nine on D and uh, A string. I'm playing on the meat here, not on the fingertip of my third, rolling down. So the first little section comes in on the seventh count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And also that is where the uh, C7 chord is occurring or C chord. Uh, it's kind of a stormy Monday type thing. You have like. This is not occurring uh, on the original three o'clock that Clapton recorded, but I thought it would sound really cool. Gives it a little bit more jazzier feel. It sounds good with this uh, type of a slow blues, I think, so threw it in there. So that's what's happening over that. Just staying in that first position minor pentatonic right over that C. Sounds pretty cool. And then when you hit that nine, going back to the B, so it's not really occurring for that long, uh, the C chord, only for the uh, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like that. Uh, pretty cool stuff. And then the next little phrase, we're hopping up to the BB King position. I'm playing this little phrase, coming in on the eighth count. This is uh, over the B, and then we're going to the E chord. And so we're just doing this, 13. Adding some Clapton style vibrato. Then this phrase. Only bending that 14th, 14th fret here on the B string up to the 15th fret sound. You know, the sound of E7. That's the chord uh, we're playing over. That 14th fret is our flat seven E7 chord. Okay, so that's it for like two. Okay, well that does it for this lesson. Uh, if you wanna gain access to the full lesson, check out the all access pass. Uh, if you wanna access the preset, uh, check out the free newsletter with a free mini course. Uh, you can get 45 minutes of video, tab, and backing track. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.